I can't believe that up until recently, BMW allowed its customers to spec their new vehicles without Apple CarPlay. But today I'm gonna to show you a quick and easy and very cost-effective solution of enabling Apple CarPlay in your BMW. Now, what I'm about to show you works on most new-ish BMWs, such as this 2017 uh, X3 M Sport, but let's get to it. What I'm holding in my hand is a memory stick. On this memory stick, I have a file which will program this BMW into having this uh, Apple CarPlay installed. How did I get this file onto this memory stick? Well, I uh, loaded it from my laptop. First I had to format the memory stick, then I loaded the file and it's, it's pretty, pretty simple. How did I get the file? I got the file from Keys Motorsports. Uh, there's, a, there's a method of purchasing it based on your, uh, your car. You basically go on the website, uh, go to the right uh, link, which I'm going to uh, provide below uh, so it's easier for you to access it. You purchase the, uh, the kit, you provide your VIN number, and they set you up with the, uh, with the right solution. It's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty straightforward. But what's even more straightforward is how you install it. So you get in the car, you start the vehicle, make sure your key is in the car, and then you take the memory stick, open up the glove box, and you basically insert this stick into the USB drive. So it's right in there. After you've done so, you have to wait at least 60 seconds for all the programming to take place. Now that we've waited at least 60 seconds, we disconnect the drive, we shut the car off, grab your key fob, lock the doors with a key fob, and now the idea is to be at least 15 meters away with your key fob away from the car. So. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Okay, so I've got to be at least 15 meters away. It's going to take me at least 10, 15 minutes to find the key fob that I just threw out there. And that's the time uh, they tell us to wait. So I'll come back in about 10, 15 minutes, hopefully as I search for that key fob, and let's see what happened inside the car. dusty but <laughs> exactly uh, 17 minutes after I threw these things out uh, I found them that means the car is fully ready for me to go to the next step and next the idea is simple take your oh wait rather clean check it out keys motorsports uh, key fob yeah it's pretty dirty open it up we're gonna start the car and as the car starts the iDrive should restart in about five minutes. And it's restarting. It was probably, it's been about maybe a minute or so. Look, it is restarting. It's completely blank. Don't freak out when that happens. All right. But then something happened. My microphone died, so I really had no footage of me enjoying Apple CarPlay after uh, the system restarted. Then I went on vacation for three weeks. I came back, I shaved, uh, I looked nice and rested. Uh, but now let me show you exactly what Apple CarPlay looks like on this BMW. Back in the car, my phone is in my hand, no wires connected to it, and check this out. We have Apple CarPlay, a wireless Apple CarPlay in this older BMW. All we had to do is just what I showed you, then I removed the phone, I added it back in, and uh, you get wireless Apple CarPlay. Now, to use it, obviously this is not a touch screen, uh, because in this particular model they never came with touch screens, but I know uh, some 3 Series in 2018, they, uh, they've added touch screen, even though the screen looked the same. So, uh, if you have touch screen, you can actually use it. Since you don't have a touch screen here, uh, you just use the scroll button, but look how easy it is. So look, you travel from here, here you travel to different icons this this and that uh, bam let's see what is uh, in my audible 
you get your auto ball, bam, look at that. This is all your stuff that you can control with your wheel here, which is absolutely intuitive. And I've got to say, I drove this car a long distance not too long ago with Apple CarPlay enabled, and I've got to say, it was absolutely fantastic. We used um, Google Maps. We later used YouTube Music to play music for my kids, and it's absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Getting Apple CarPlay in an older BMW like this is a no-brainer. So. I think if you're on the fence, get off that fence, do it. I'm going to link everything down in the description for you. It is absolutely a, a no-brainer, uh, so go ahead and do it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, as always. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. And there's going to be a lot more BMW content. Ooh.